Dan pushed back the bed covers and opened one eye. Patch was sitting beside his bed, wagging her tail. She pushed a very wet and very cold nose into Stan's cheek. Oi, mumbled Stan. That's enough of that. Patch nudged him again. Whatever's wrong with you this morning, Patch? asked Stan. He looked towards the window. It was light, but everything was very quiet. There were no birds singing. He couldn't hear the pigs or the cows or even the noisy chickens. Stan got out of bed. Ooh, he said as his feet touched the floor. It's ever so cold. He padded over to the window and rubbed the glass with his fingers. <coughs> oh, my law, he said. The window is frosted up. Stan huffed on the frosty glass, rubbed it with the sleeve of his striped pyjamas and peered out into the farmyard. Oh, dear, oh, law, he said. You're right, Patch, there is something up. It's snowing. Stan gave Patch some dog biscuits soaked in hot gravy and made porridge and tea for himself. When he had finished his breakfast, Stan struggled into his warmest winter overcoat. He wrapped a long green woolly scarf around his neck and pulled on his welly boots. Then, after filling two buckets with steaming hot water, he opened the back door. Stan and Patch were almost blown across the kitchen as the door banged open and the howling wind and driving snow swept in. It's a real blizzard and no mistake, shouted Stan as he struggled through the doorway and set off across the yard. The snow came over Stan's boots, but Patch thought it was great fun as she charged through the deep, soft snow. All the hens began to cackle and chatter as Stan pushed open the barn door. Hello, little red tractor, he shouted. Winter has arrived. Stan made up some warm mash and bran for the chickens. Then he took some into Jeremy, the friendly old shire horse. Stan went back to the house for some more hot water and made buckets full of sloppy hot mash which he put into Little Red Tractor's trailer and covered with an old sheet of plywood. Up in! Stan shouted to Patch as he climbed into the Little Red Tractor's cab and turned the key. There was a spluttering, then a cough, and a noise that sounded as if the Little Red Tractor was saying, I don't think I want to go out in this weather. Then with a little puff of blue smoke, Little Red Tractor's engine sprang into life and with the trail on the back they chugged out into the snow. <laughs>